Wow, is that an Argonian guard? It is. That's not something you see every day. He knows I'm looking at him. Hello. What is it? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, it's my day off. I've decided to get out of the robes and do some manual labor, which is really not like me. But we're gonna try it. I have a job to start an explorer's guild. And let's just pull up this, these notes that I have taken. Orion and I are establishing the Explorer Society. A guild for explorers and archaeologists. He's beginning the guild charter and I'm going to begin building the guild house. Once I complete it, I should check back with him. Alright. I'm here with Gorbash the Iron Hand. You know, orcs are renowned for their craftsmanship. So hopefully he can teach me a few things about building this thing. Let's, let's go on in. Can I help you? No, oh, just follow me. And, um, in case I didn't say anything, I'm here in solitude at the Dragonborn Gallery. And, oh, here. Here's a workbench. All right, let's see what I can do. Absolutely nothing. I need logs and nails. Hmm. Okay, well, let's look on the map. And we're looking for, here we are, a sawmill. All right, let's go. All right, Gorbash, let's see. We're looking for the owner to see if we can buy some logs. What? Someone's been killed! What's going on? It's a guard! This can't be happening! about it. Okay, you, can you help me? Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Um, no, that's not why I'm here. Orion sent me to buy some lumber. Ah, of course. I told him I'd give him a special price. 180 gold for 20. Sound like a deal? Yes, that's fine. All right, then. Whenever you need them, we'll have them up there for you. Well, I need them right now. And can ah, I of course. Can I get an extra 20, please? I told him I'd give him a special price. 180. All right then. Whenever you need them, we'll have them up there for you. All right, thank you. All right. All right, more bash. I prefer it boiling. Well, you know if we could find whoever killed this guard, maybe you could get your blood boiling, but it doesn't seem like anything's going on over here. All right, I've got to figure out where I can get some nails. Okay, here we go, nails. Was 30 I needed? Okay, I made 40. 
All right, Gorbash, come on. I'm gonna need your help with this. My blood's calm. I prefer it boiling. I know, I know. Unfortunately, except for that dead guard, it was pretty quiet at the sawmill. What can I do for you, friend? Um, nothing at the moment. Let's see if I can do this. All right, the Guild House Foundation. Here we go. Now I need quarried stone. Where's the foundation? Wow, I'm not really sure where I can get stone. This might be a problem. All right, well, I'm gonna go talk to Orion and see what he recommends for... Can I help you with anything? Um, not at the moment, for getting the quarried stone. And then we will proceed with building more of this guild house. All right, we've spent the better part of a day trying to find some quarried stone and I think we may have some success let me just pull up the map here we're here at Pine Watch which is northeast from Fall Creek and I see here a deposit of stone quarry let's see if my magic will work on this Every ounce of magic. Oh. All right. I think we should have enough stone by now. I wasn't counting. I think we needed 30. All right, let's go back. I know there's gonna be something else that we need. It's only giving me bits and pieces of the ingredients. Oh my, I have 792 quarried stone. No, really? Okay, well, let's build this. So now I need more logs, more nails, and clay. It would be nice if I knew all of this in advance, but anyhow, we're going to take our time and, you know, eventually, hopefully, we'll get this uh, guild house built. All right, we're here in Iverstead continuing our search for building materials for the guild headquarters. Wow, is that an Argonian guard? It is. That's not something you see every day. He knows I'm looking at him. Hello. What is it? I, I've just never seen an Argonian dressed like a guard. Anyhow, I have been scouring Skyrim looking for clay. Now, I've talked to many, many different people. 
the easy solution that they're saying for building materials is to get that home near Fall Creek, Lakeview Manor. If you're able to purchase that, there's unlimited supply of uh, quarry stone and clay, but I do not have that option to get Lakeview Manor. So, this is the other option, Iverstead. And just in case, I'm pulling up my map here. Iverstead is on the other side of the mountain here where the gray beards are rumored to reside. Florida Mall, Northeast, Hilgren's Tomb, primarily North, Shroud Hearth Barrow. So here we are, Iverstead. All right, so let's hope this is true. I'm told that there is clay down here. Oh, it looks like it is clay. Yes. Wait, did I hear a bear? Gorbash, we have to stop it before it kills someone. Oh, it looks like there's clay over here too. Come on. Oh. Oh. I got it. It's no wonder our enemies are excited the four warriors. Okay, so here is another clay deposit. I should be able to use my magic. Yes, it's working. The deposits are unlimited. I can always come back here. All right. What's that? Sounds like someone's walking. What's going on? All right. Anyhow, let's go back across here. So here's another clay deposit. And just to give you some perspective, there's a bridge that leads into Iverstead. And when you come across the bridge, there's the inn. It's right here. Villamere Inn. You're and asking for trouble walking around with dangerous magic like that. All right, Mr. Argonian. Don't try to get tough now. And the clay deposit is just to the right of the bridge. You can just go down toward the water and you'll find clay deposit here. If you cross the water, there's another clay deposit on the other side. So plenty of clay if you're looking for building materials. All right, it's time for us to get back to solitude. Okay, we're back, and I have the clay, and I think it's time to build the roof on our, our guild headquarters. Yes, the guild roof house, here we go. Okay, so it's been built. That was a lot. It, it really takes a lot of going back and forth. I, I mean, unless you have the Lakeview Manor, you may have to search Skyrim quite a bit to find these materials. Let's go talk to Orion. I mean, these grounds are just so beautiful. I'm so glad I got involved with the, the Dragonborn Gallery. Ah, uh, Orion, there you are. Hmm? The guild house is complete. Ah, wonderful. You work quickly, my friend. Come, let's have a look. Then I'll show you what I have come up with for the charter. Okay. 
Um, I guess you're following me then. It's funny, I've been building this guild house all this time and I really didn't even know where it was. <laughs> now, can you imagine how something like that could happen? All ah, right. Ah, the air is good today. I welcome the smell of blood from all the kills I will make. Okay, now calm down, Gorbash. All right, here we are, Explorer Society Guild House. Let's go on inside. Amazing. Simply amazing, my friends. You truly are quite the craftsman, I must say. Yes, this will do quite nicely, I think. Plenty of space, a good number of beds, flies. Yes, you seem to have covered all the basics very well. Now let's discuss the charter. Well, I'd like to take a look around before we discuss the charter. Because I'm amazed I myself. I did all this. The laws of the charter are thus. All knowledge gathered by the guild is to be shared. Oh, by he's already talking about the charter. To the, guild. the guild will fund expeditions, paying wages to members based on their rank, and any items of significance uncovered during the expedition will be at the discretion of the guildmaster and chief librarian as to their importance and if they should be displayed in the museum. Other spoils will be sold and the funds distributed to the guild and members of the expedition. The guild will also maintain a quarter office, where an appointed quartermaster will acquire and make available for purchase at a discount. Supplies for members and expeditions. So, how does that sound to you? Um, I'm sorry, I, I missed the beginning, but it sounds like we're off to a pretty good start. Good, good. Well, then I think we can start spreading the word and gathering possible members. Here is some contact information for your potential candidates that came by previously. You should check into these and I'll keep my ear open. And in the meantime, if you need me, I'll be at the museum. Let me know if you need anything. I'll let you know if anything develops on my end. Oh, my friend, I have a fantastic opportunity for you. And it has only a small window of opportunity to pursue. Really? I mean, I'm kind of exhausted after building this fantastic quarters here, but what is it? Oh, my friend, I have a fantastic opportunity for you. And it has only a small window of opportunity. Yes, yes. Pursue. I was contacted by a relic collector in the province of Elsewhere who is in possession of the Staff of Indaris. He has offered to donate the staff to the museum for safekeeping. He worries that the staff could fall into the hands of the Thalmor, and with all the struggles occurring there as of late with Thalmor occupation and a local resistance, he is already on his way to us and should arrive shortly. Could you go and meet him at the Guild House? Um. Aren't I in the guild house? Phenomenal. Do give him my regards. Okay. Meet Rakus at the guild house. All right. Well, actually, I think I'm going to take a little nap. Where's Gorbash? Is he already resting? I mean, it's been in quite a day. I mean, traveling all over Skyrim, getting building materials, building this incredible building that I've never seen until this moment. Oh my goodness, look at all the, and it's fully furnished. And I'm being given credit with doing all this? I must be more powerful than I could even imagine. What do you think, Gorbash? Is, is this even possible? What can I do for you, friend? All right, Gorbash. Yes, I think it is. that's a great idea. I think we're just going to nap here. And then we will continue our adventuring. 